You know, if it wasn't for those guys, we wouldn't be here. We climbed on the backs of their sacrifice. Their history is my tradition. And without the sacrifices that they made, I wouldn't even be here to fight. The end stood for night operations. So she becomes the first and only night operating carrier. There's clearly a huge strategic advantage to be able to attack at night. If you can't find me, you can't shoot me. What are the disadvantages? Well, now your pilots have to fly a night mission, which is high stress physiologically, and then come back and land on a carrier at night. That's not easy. As our dive bomber and torpedo bomber pilots came in, they could see the fattest target they had ever seen, and they wanted to take her down. Really, the, the plane should have been about 250 knots for a diving profile. This guy's going maybe 350, 360. It's pretty fast. The plane wasn't really made for that. It's doing a mission it's not designed for. You might not be able to reach your stick and throttle. You might not be able to actuate the comm link to talk to your crew member. The blood is being pushed, you know, into your face, and you just, you just can't think straight. He tries to call. You're trying to take into consideration all the visual factors that are out there. You have the sun, you have all these bad guy planes, you have all these good guy planes, and you need to make sure that you most effectively prosecute them. These guys are trying to get to their target with all the flak exploding around them and maybe taking a little piece out of their wing here and there. You know, there's nothing you can do to defend yourself. You're in major formation, so you're not going to be doing massive unplanned jinking maneuvers because you're going to run into your fellow pilots. Computer assist dials and, you know, multifunction interface screens to control your radar search area. For a surface ship, they have basically two non-offensive weapons at their disposal. One is speed, two is maneuverability. When you go in, attach a tow line to a disabled ship, and try to pull her to safety, you've just given up speed and you've given up maneuverability. So you've made yourself pretty predictable. Deadly. In summer of 1943, the Enterprise went through a repair overhaul. Now, she had been through significant combat and, and suffered a lot of damage. They looked at this and drew lessons learned from it. I think it's just a testament to the training, skill, and really the fitness levels of pilots. But to be able to pilot that aircraft 500 miles when you're hanging on to a thin thread of life and bleeding profusely in the face, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. <laughs>